said move off the ball. Then move on to it, hit that ball around the corner. Good goal, boy. Champion, champion college, champion. Champion college, yeah? D champion college. You saw me the people? You don't know something that bright enough to go inside. <laughs> what the average? What the average you're going to camp? 98. 98? Chief, that's great. I'm not bright enough to go inside, people. Somebody panic. Outside. Champion College, are you ready for the new, for the upcoming school boy football season? Definitely. We're going to see what the team has to offer. We're going to look at, talk to the players, talk to the coach, and see what's going to happen here. People, pick up on yourself. I want to change the pace. I can't pass it. I look at this. We kid, we kid is going so hard to find me now. Can we move in? Hey. So when I play it here, I move here. Maybe I need to check here still. But there's something deliberate about my movement. Play. Run that. Watch, watch. What's up? What's up? What's up? We're here with Coach Ashton Blankson. Coach, um, how are you doing first of all? You know, all is well, you know, give God thanks. Or our preparations coming up? I mean, we just got started in August, but I think we have more than what it takes to get ready for the start of the season. Um, what's the size of the squad you have so far? I think we have 16 players. I think um, 11 or 10 are actually Manning Cup eligible only. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a couple from under 14 or under 16 coming up to make up the complement. Mm -hmm. Nothing that we... Is, we are not... Um, it's really something as a culture here at, at Campion. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's trying to find the real world, but we have a lot of our players that get opportunities overseas, mm -hmm. um, whether it be boarding school, colleges early. So. Mm -hmm. um, we are quite fine to see, to see them move on, you mm -hmm. know, but it does make it difficult to, to perform in the under-19 stage. But, I mean, we did it last year, mm -hmm. so I think we have more than enough to do it again this year. Yeah, you care to share like any other players you think you're likely to lose that perform well for your last season? I mean, we lost three key players, mm -hmm. and we also lost the captain, but he's in, he was in upper six. Mm -hmm. um, we lost um, our centre-back, a midfielder, and a key attacker as well. I think most of us will know Kai, 14-year-old Kai, mm -hmm. really did well. I think he's the captain of the under-15 national team. I mean, credit to him and all the work he's done, but he's moving on. Um, but for us here at Campion, it's really just next man. You know, it's something we are used to. I think as much as Kai has done well, if most of the players have stayed in past years, Kai would not be on the team of last year. So, you know, it's just getting opportunities, whether you're 14 or whether you're 18, you get the opportunity to perform on the highest stage. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, um, who are preparations coming on? The, the money cups are back. I mean, well, the reality is it's one week in. So that's exactly where we are, one week in. Um, but I, I believe once you have a set of players that are putting in some work, um, four weeks is all you need to actually get a group together. Yes, fitness-wise, technical, um, they should have the basics, the foundation that you can now ask them to execute. I think we do have a number of players that um, probably focus a bit on their CSEC exams. So there is some catching up to do, but I think we have more than enough to get it done. Um, as, as I mentioned, fitness. Um, so do, do these players have a base level of fitness already coming into camp? Or are you going to try and get them there? I mean, we, we, we gave them some programs to do in July. Um, some of them were here doing some work, some were away doing some work. So I think there's a basic level, basic understanding. I think um, just give, given the fact that they are the under-16 champions last year, 
they know there's a target on the back. There's, they know um, they have something to defend, even though they're moving in under 19. So I think there was some work, and you know, the mindset is there, but we have to keep pushing to push ourselves even beyond that. Yeah, yeah. Last year was basically a turn, a face turn for a champion where football is concerned, winning the under 16. And there's a lot. Of, you guys are developing a lot, a big um, fan base supporting champion. Um, what, what does that do for the regards of pressure on the players? I know you're, you're, some of the stars are moving on. You have a young set of players coming. What does that do for them? Do you think these players can manage that pressure? Do you think they, that you, are, you, you as coach have to instill that mental um, factor into be with that pressure that, that, that they'll be facing? I mean, as a coach, you have to teach them the, the football side, the passing, but it's also a part of the game where you deal with pressure. You know, playing in a stadium, I think it's something that they just have to get used to. I think the first time going in a national stadium or Sabina Park is going to be a new factor for them. And, you know, we can do a lot of work mentally, but in reality, the best thing is just the experience. So the yeah. first time will be their best um, teacher. Yeah, that's true. And you can't really prepare for the, the, the thousands you know. of people. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. And I, well, I've seen it many times. Um, players, they have a good team and they crumble because of just the excitement and the, the, the environment. Um, so, but you have a pretty religious squad. What is the average age of a squad? Um, didn't calculate. I know last year it was definitely closer to 15. This year probably it is 15.9. Mm -hmm. You know, it's getting a little older. I think um, a couple of them um, are still 15, but will be 16 before mm -hmm. September. So um, it, is, it is a little older, but I think we now have one 18-year-old and one 17-year-old in the squad. Mm -hmm. Every, all the others are 16 or younger. Um, so, what are the expectations? I know you guys taste a bit of what football is like, that, that, that nice feeling of football, lifting a trophy. Felt good that see the big support I was there for the U16. The, U, the, the, the Manning Cup team actually progressed quite well as well. But what are the expectations now this season? I mean, for us, we take it a step at a time. I think um, having done it last year to make the second round, for us, that is now the base. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to, to go beyond. For us, we're not looking at what the other teams doing, whether in our group or outside, mm -hmm. but we can only be better than ourselves. So we're looking to now take it one up. So can we move to the quarterfinals? And then we take it from there because we're not going to go to the quarterfinals and not be satisfied. So he's just taking it from there after that. All right, coach. Um, big up. Thanks again. Oh, this prosperous season. It's going to be a tough one. <laughs> it's going to be a tough one, but all top, top seasons are. Last year was a top season, so sure. you need a top season to, to show. Champions. True, champions. I see you have oh, some man. big guns. <laughs> Alright, right, we're here with Elijah White, um, captain for the camp the champion team. Elijah, how are you doing? Very good. What's oh, camp? Not good. <laughs> what? Tiring. Tiring? Tiring. Tiring. Too in much running. Too much running. In football you have to put in the work. No, but it's more like tracks training than tracks. football training. But you have to get there. Fitness, the fitness is an important part of football. You know that, right? <laughs> but as I go, um, how far do you think you are with your uh, personal preparation for the manager coming up? Um, I still have a way to go, but we we'll get there. On a scale of hundred, where you put yourself in terms of preparation? preparation yeah, pre preparation. Yeah. Readiness. About eighty. Eighty? Uh, yeah, yeah, they are most there, man. I think that's a good, a relatively good number. Yeah. So when you, the money cup season starts, they probably can hit a hundred. Maybe not after after three weeks, they know see a peak at the right time, which is good. Um, so as a captain, how is important? How important is it for you to um, to, to keep it balanced and basically keep all the players at level? Okay, it is important, but like. I just make the players also enjoy themselves, you know. Mm -hmm. I make them enjoy the season and mm -hmm. train hard, get better. It's not only money cup. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's preparing them for life. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, um, what's the relationship between you, the coach, and the players? Are you like that intermediary where whatever happened between the team, you pass it on to the coach? And I'm just in the middle, the middleman, um, getting the information in around and passing on to the players as well. Are you that type of player or that type of captain? Yes. Interesting. All right, so what are your personal expectations for this money cup season? What do you, what do you um, seek to achieve for this season? Well, our goal is to win the money cup. Mm -hmm. The minimum is to go do better than last year. The minimum? Yes, we can't stop doing better. So. Well, got to quarters at least this year. All right, Elijah, how old are you? 17. All right. Well done, Captain. See you next year. All right. All right. Thank you.
right, so. So we're here with Jazz Les. So Jazz, um, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling all right this season. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Um, you went away with um, KFA for the USA Cup. Um, how do you think that, um, that tour went for you? I think you went all right. We definitely could have been much better, but on a personal level, mm -hmm. I think I played very well. Oh, nice. Um, so what what you say I've learned um, on that tour, and you can really bring it back to the Manny Cup? Season? Um, definitely the, the the quality of the teams was was, was very good up there. The, the speed of play, mm -hmm. and I want to incorporate that to the Manny Cup side to play faster. Yeah. Um, so your preparation, your personal preparation, how far you think you are? Just give me a number between uh, one, to, uh, one to hundred. How far you think your preparation are? Probably like seventy. Seventy. Yeah. That's not. That's not really far. That's not bad. That, that's in good. good Still have a little way. Um, one question. What do you think would be your best attribute that you bring to um, the Campion Money Cup team? My best attribute. Mm -hmm. Um. Probably my. You know, eagerness to win. I'm mm -hmm. always competitive, no matter what I'm doing. Any jail, any match, mm -hmm. I want to. Interesting. Um, Tom, what are you? What's your personal expectation for this season? I'm expect to win. I always go into a competition. Expect to win. No matter what. Right, just um, definitely wish to see you having a good season and good luck here. Thank you. Yes, sir. That doesn't really matter. Yes, boy. After that, that doesn't really matter. All right.